What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so here we are, Cerulean City. There's something going on right here. Now, if you guys remember, Cerulean City happens to be the home of Misty, the water-type gym leader, and, uh, you know, there's not a lot of things that you can see, but there is something going on right here, like Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Where's the blue aura? It's nighttime. There's no blue aura. But if you talk to this lady right here, she'll be like, Miss, my Slowbro and I make a make an awesome combination. Slowbro, show me your confusion. Slowbro, you ready? Dot dot dot. Okay, that was a uh, <laughs> that was bad right there. Okay, uh, talk to this guy. He's like, I'm a huge fan of Cerulean, uh, the Cerulean Gym Misty. Okay. We all know how much Draven can't read, so just realize that, you know, you're not going to get a complete sentence like that. Now, talk to this guy. Candle's power plant. It's near the end of uh, Route 9, the road that heads east from here. I think there was an accident of uh, some sort there. Hmm. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Yellow, this house was home to the, what, the daycare lady that gave us Bulbasaur or Dubasaur. Now, they're going off of red and blue, so this guy is the guy that, you know, you usually trade, what, a Poliwhirl... Yeah, a Poliwhirl for a Jinx. Now talk to this guy, he's like, ah, I'm so happy. Hmm. My husband lives happily with Pokemon he got through trades. Okay, alright. See if he got that Pokemon. Nope, this is a Kangaskhan. There's no, uh, it doesn't look like he has his, uh, Poliwhirl that I gave him. Or whatever, I don't know. Whatever. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. The bike shop. This is home to the bike shop and all that stuff. There's a notice here. The bike shop has moved to Golden Rod City in Johto, so there's no bike shop. Whoa, well, wow, what the heck? Then why have this house there? Why couldn't you just convert it into something else? And remember the dreaded tree of doom that we couldn't, uh, that couldn't, like, that stopped us from going down here? Well, it's gone. It is long gone. And, uh, you know what? Maybe I should go right here. And explore just a little bit of it. Route 5, the, the, the route that we haven't explored. Of course, there's that other daycare that we haven't gone to. So, I'm going to go down here, change the music. Hopefully, no Pokemon attacks us. And uh, right here, this lady's like, yeah! I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off. We get ourselves the, can the cleanse tag. And, uh, I guess that helps, what, that, yeah, you, you were in no mortal danger, but you are protected now. I guess that repels some Pokemon, I don't know. My grandma is into warding off what she believes to be evil spirits. I'm sorry that, they, that she startled you. She didn't really startle me, it's just, uh, well, okay, she kind of did startle me. But this used to be the daycare center. Um, yeah. And, uh, well, if you talk to this guy, he's like, the road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Hmm. Okay. Whatever you say. Um, why is this so close to the gyms right here? I don't know. All right, let's go back up to Cerulean City because we have to, we ha we got to. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay. A few things of a reminder. Cerulean carry gone. Go in here. Talk to this guy. Are you collecting Shin Kanto gym badges? Yes, I am. Um, okay, what was the point of all that? Oh, yeah, he has a door. No, he doesn't have a door right behind there. All right, we're going to have to go back here. Let's see. Talk to this guy. The Cape is... The Cape in the North is a good place for dates. Girls like it. That's good. Go right here. Talk to this gentleman. Now, as you can see, the Cerulean Cave is gone. That's where we caught Mewtwo. Talk to this guy. He's like, there used to be a cave here that had horribly powerful Pokemon in it. Next thing you know, he starts getting something from his item finder, and he's like, huh? My item finder's responding. There is something in there. Something very, very special. Actually, it's not so special because it's, it's a one-of-a-kind thing, so it, yeah. Whatever, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Now, let's see. Gonna go right here, Sterling Cape, ahead. And, uh, well... If you guys remember, this was the house of the people that got uh, robbed at one point. Talk to, them. let's see, there's a notice here. Stamp out the thievery and and make the city a friendlier, more cheerful place. So, really, police. Okay, so yeah, this is this this is the place that got robbed at one point. Let's see. I heard that some shady character is skulking around. I won't stand for it. It he turns out to be a thief. Huh. 
We were held up uh, by robbers before. Yeah, that is true. If you guys don't remember, yeah, these are the people that got robbed three years ago. All right, so let's move on right here. Go into the to this right here, Route 24, which is Nugget Bridge right here. As you can see, there's not a lot of people here. There's nobody. Actually, Nugget Bridge is no more. And uh, let's see, we're in Route 25. That was quick. And then we grab this. Found ourselves a potion that grows from this tree right here. And, uh, well, the challenge is right here. So let's go ahead and do. Uh, oh, wow, I still have Razor here. Never mind. Never mind. Let me go back down. I'm sorry, guys. I completely forgot about Kid Thunder. You know, that Pokemon. Okay, that Pokemon that did not help me capture Suicune at one point. All right, let's get to this thing. We're in the we're in the Hall of Fame. Deposit Razor. Yep. Bye bye Razor. All right, let's go back up and uh, Fanfy, how you doing? Yada yada yada. Look at look at all these Pokemon that I caught. Pretty cool Pokemon. Oh, here you go, Kid Thunder. All right, Kid Thunder. All righty. Okay. Now we can go back up. With our bike so let's go back up with our bike right here and uh, as you can see we're getting around quickly and here we are route 24 route 25 now let's choose a Pokemon that will you know sweep through these whole uh, gangling of people oh you know what Nessie still needs to get to level 50 the road to level 50 goes through Nessie right here Beat the six of us trainers to win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, bring it on. Let's do this. So here we go. We're taking on Schoolboy Dudley and wants the battle, and he's going to come out with his Oddish crud. Yeah. I, I, I Again, I, I forget that, you know, going into Kanto, some, the, 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 the trainers here are not that, not that strong. Really, they're not that strong. And, uh, well, there's, uh, one right there, and Nessie grows a level 49, which is great. It's always great. One more level. One more level, Nessie. Alrighty. Okay, so, let's move on right here. We're number two! I'm second. Now it's serious. Okay. Bring it on. Okay, so, this guy right here, or this chick right here, her name is Ellen, not... Anything related to Jajenrish. But, you know, she's coming out with her Wiggly Tough, not so tough. And I'm sorry, Wiggly Tough, not so tough. You gotta get that Body Slam. That's uh, right, take that Body Slam. Body Slam does a lot, and it makes it faint. Yes, makes it faint. Go! And as you can see, not a lot of experience points. So she comes out with a Gramble. Okay. Um, do I have any Pokemon that can, you know, Get rid of that grand. Well, you know what? Let's go with Cinder. Cinder. I miss Cinder. Look at that. Showing off its fangs. It's like, look at the fangs. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Fire Punch. Mm -hmm. There we go. Fire Punch. Says bye bye. And another bye bye. And uh, there goes Ellen DeGeneres. How could I lose? Uh, for dancing too much, that's why. If you guys don't know, I am not a big fan of Ellen DeGeneres. She annoys me sometimes. Really does. Go ahead, hate me. I don't care. And here we go. Here's number three! I won't be easy. Like your mom. Well, yeah, no. Your mom's probably easier. So, here we go. Joe the Ho, coming out with this Tangela. I, I have no rhymes for Tangela. All right, Nessie, let's do these Ice Beam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Ice Beam is going to just wreck through this whole Pokemon. Yeah. Bye-bye. And, uh, like, well, Nessie, you know, you know, it's close. Coming out with the Vaporeon. Okay, finally, a chance for Kid Thunder to shine right here. It's been a while, man. Well, it's just been one episode. I just had to put him in the PC because, of course... I wasn't gonna, you know, teach anybody else cut. So let's go with Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt takes that Vaporeon, takes him back. 
all the way. Bye bye. Alrighty, alrighty. And it, uh, there goes Joe the Ho, and he's like, oh, stomp flat. Like your mom. That's right. I'm gonna move on right here, and, uh, ooh, wow. Okay, so there's three trainers, four, okay, so, yeah, that, that's six of them, I guess. Okay, um, let's see, let's give somebody else a, a crack at this. Let's go with Talk to Batman. Alright, bring it on, who wants this? Who wants a piece of this? I'm number four, getting tired? Not really. Not really, I, I'm just getting started right here. And my Pokemon got touched. So here we go, Lara coming out with her Gloom. Mm. That Gloom does not look happy. That's why I hate the name Gloom. Wing attack, finish him off. Oh yes, there goes that Gloom. Bye bye no more Gloom. No more Gloomy Knights, that's good, that's good. That's very, very good. And Lara's gonna come out with her Pidgeotto. Another time to check, or another chance to shine for my, um, my, whatchamacallit, it's, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, either kid, no, 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 my toxic, no, damn it, kid, thunder! I'm trying to figure this out right here. Alright, thunderbolt! That's right, thunderbolt for the win. Bye bye Pidgeotto. Nobody can touch me right now. Nobody's touching me and I feel so invincible. Why or oh why did Nintendo decide not to improve these Pokemon trainers' levels? I mean, we kind of need a challenge. I don't know. We'll wait till Misty. You know, when we beat her. Alright. Okay. Blossom. Hello, how's it doing? Blossom. Bye bye with the fire punch. And there goes that fire punch. Fire punch is going to win it all. Yes! Mm -hmm. I'm drinking a drink right now. I'm sorry. Water. Always drink water, guys. And, yeah, you lost too. And, well, I won't get a chance to switch out Pokemon because look at this. Okay, number five. I'll stomp you. All right. Bring it on. Let's go. This guy is looking like he's flexing at us. His name is Lloyd. Not Epic Lloyd, but Lloyd. And he's coming out with his Neo King, I guess. Alright, um... Alright, so I gotta switch out. I really do have to switch out, because... You know, no chance in hell that they give me a... To, to actually switch out, right? Or to switch the Pokemon before battles and stuff. And, well, there's that Horn Attack. But, Horn Attack meets Psychic Attack. Psychic Attack meet Neato King. Not my Neato King, but Neato King right here. And... Look at that. Bye bye So easy. Oh, man. And uh, hello, level 56. Yes, I've missed you. Pokemon are looking good. They're looking powerful. Lloyd is like, whoa, too much! That's right. I am too much. And, of course, Tully has to call us because he's a dick like that. And he's like, it's been a great night for fishing. We should get a battle going. Yada, yada, yada. I am not in Johto. Leave me alone. These phone calls are ridiculous. All right. Bring it on. I'm the last in, or I'm the last in line, but I tell you, I tell, I'll tell you, I'm tough. No, you're not. None of you are tough. Like, seriously, none of you. Here we have Shannon coming out with their Paris. Alright, my Paris. And, uh, well, the simple wing attack would do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Simple freaking wing attack. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, she's gonna continue on with these bug Pokemon. Alright, well, we'll continue on with right here. Alright, bring it on. Okay, so, wing attack. Eat it. Say bye-bye. Paras. Paras is dead. Paras is gone, and, uh... Okay, so do you have another one? Oh, yeah, she's coming out with her Parasect. Okay. Man, I wish there was like a mega, a mega attack for flying type Pokemon in this game. Not fly attack. Come on, fly attack is not really a mega move. And there goes that wing attack yet again. Say bye bye to Parasect. Parasect. And uh, that's it. All right, Shannon. She's like, you're kidding. 
No, I am not. I beat you fair and square. And, uh, okay, so there's an item right there. We don't have cut. And we talk to this guy. He's like, move, 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 move. I have nothing to do with the six pack trainers. I waited here to beat you when you were tired out by all the battles. Yeah, about that. Alright, so we have Super Nerd Pet, and he is coming out with his Porygon. Alright. Alright, Super Jerk, let's go. I'm not tired. I can go on and on. So we're gonna go with a fly attack right here. Try and hit my Pokemon right now. I dare you. There's that try attack. It doesn't work worth a squad diddly -ot. And there's that fly attack. Eat it, Porygon. Eat it with a critical hit. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm loving this way of the, the victories and stuff. And Super Nerd Pat's like, aren't you tired at all? No. I'm not tired, man. I don't get tired. Eat it! And, uh, okay, so this guy might be the last one. He might ask me to join Team Rocket. So I'm going to go with the big guns right here. The big guns. Teddy. My Ursarang. All right, bring it on. You took on one more battle than, uh, than you expected. But you won anyway. As promised, you win a prize. We got ourselves a nugget. Yes, yes. By the way, would you like to join into... No, I'm just playing. But after seeing how you battle, I want to see how you, uh, how I'll flare. Or I'll fare. How about it? Let me take you on. Gives me no choice. Seriously, does not give me any choice at all. Alright, dick. Here we go. Cool trainer Kevin wants to battle, and he's coming out with his right horn. Alright, right horn. Bring it on. Let's do this. Let's go. Rhyhorn meet Earthquake. Earthquake meet Rhyhorn. There's that Rhyhorn uh, Earthquake attack right there. And bye bye. Say bye bye. Hmm. I thought you were strong. I really thought you were strong. And oh, he's coming out with a Charmeleon. Okay. Now this is gonna hurt more me more than you because I love Charmeleon. I love that Pokemon. I really wish I would have used him as my starter in the last walkthrough, but you know, I gotta use Pikachu. Hurts me. But there you go. A job's a job, and I gotta beat him. Beat him pretty good. That's right. And uh, he's gonna come out with a War Turtle. War Turtle, the War Paint Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see. Well, let's go with that Return Attack because it's the most powerful move right there in his moveset, right? It is. Because of his freaking unbelievably uh, high attack strength. And there we go. That's right. That's right. How does that feel? It doesn't feel so good, huh? I've never had a battle this good! Really? Oh, wow. That was a that was a great battle! You and your Pokemon are truly outstanding! That's it? You don't give me anything else? Fine. Screw you. Alright, so if you guys remember, this is Bill's Cottage right here. And, uh, this is where we found Bill at one point, you know, stuck, uh, you know, stuck in a Pokemon body. Now, if you go in here, there's no Bill, there's no machines, there's nothing. There's this just old man right here, and if you talk to him, he's like, hmm, you know Bill? He's my grandson. He's in Johto. He does something with, uh, PC, so I'm house-sitting. My grandson Bill told me about a Pokemon that has a long tongue. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it, please? Technically, I do. It's in the PC. Kind of don't want to go get it or anything like that. But if you, if you, if you guys show Bill's grandpa, you know, I guess for a certain Pokemon, I think you get Pokemon Stones. Could be wrong. Comment down below, guys. Don't have it right now, but I'll show it to you maybe later on. Okay, so that's it right there. Um, yeah. That's it. Uh, something about a shady Pokemon trainer around here. I, 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 I haven't found them. Um, you know what? We'll finish off with this. Now, if you guys remember early on in this episode, uh, certain guys, uh, or a guy's, uh, oh wait, you need to put on a, a guy's item finder went off around uh, where the, um, where the Cerulean Cave used to be. And I did say that it's, you know, once in a, well, it's a once in a it's a one of a kind item right here. Now if you go surf, of course you'll be able to find it. You just need to use your uh your item finder now. Let's see, where is that guy that was here? Oh there he is. Now if you go right here, try and click it, you'll find the Berserk Gene, 
which of course is a very very um, awesome item to have but it only works once in one time only uh, boost attack uh, but causes confusion it's basically a swagger kind of a uh, item um, I'm not gonna use it why should I use it why did Pokemon decide to create that I don't know it's kind of like the it's kind of like the sacred fire or sacred ash except you know it just boosts up your attack and you know confuses the crap out of you so that's basically it right there the berserk gene and well now it is time to come back to the Pokemon Center to kill my Pokemon and uh, you know all that fun gunk right now maybe I don't know yeah stay tuned guys in the next episode we will be going well, we'll be looking for that shady Pokemon trend that everybody's talking about so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.